Hi everyone, it's Miss Jones and welcome to our art lesson. For our project this week, we are going to be drawing a castle. A castle is a type of structure built in Europe and Middle East during the medieval times. Castles were used to protect military soldiers as well as kings and lords from outside attack. Some castles had special features to help protect those inside including moats, which was a ring of water surrounding the castle. If someone wanted to get over the moat, a drawbridge would be cranked down from inside the castle. Castles from this time period can still be visited today around the world. In countries such as Spain, Germany, India, Japan, and Britain. So for our castle project today, we're gonna to be making our uh, project a little more three-dimensional because um, I like those types of um, pictures. Um, rather than just being flat, they give a little bit of personality. Um, we can create kind of a cool scene. So you're gonna need two pieces of white paper. You're also going to need some scissors and glue because we're gonna cut out part of our castle wall and stick it on our background. Um, you will want a pencil or marker for drawing or both. And then you'll need something to color with. So crayons are great. They can cover a lot of space, but if you have markers or um, colored pencils, you can also use those. I kind of mentioned how we are going to make our piece uh, into a little bit more of like a three-dimensional type piece, um, kind of like we did with our uh, umbrella um, but we're going to use one sheet of paper as our background and the other one is going to be uh, a couple different elements of our castle and then even um, maybe things in our background or foreground so let's go ahead and start with one piece of paper and we're going to start with our background so um what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fold our paper in half and we're gonna fold in half. I have mine horizontal right now and we're just gonna fold ours in half, kind of like a book. So once you kind of get the edges lined up, you can crease it. And then you can open it up and we kind of have a book. So we're actually going to turn our piece like this. And this a uh, piece of paper half that's on the table, that's gonna be our foreground. So that's gonna be kind of our ground area. And then um, this part up here that's kind of standing up, that's gonna be kind of our background, like where our castle's gonna go. So um, our castle is gonna be drawn here and we're gonna have this kind of as the ground so we can draw some other elements and add maybe like a forest or um, water or something like that kind of in our foreground um, and then our background will have our um, castle on it and kind of some other elements that we want like sky and all that um, so that's kind of how we're going to lay it out um, so now that we have our background folded we'll go ahead and start drawing here in a second um, but i think we should make our um, at least our structure part so that we can kind of color everything at once and then once we're done coloring glue it uh, on our piece of paper so uh, once you have your folded piece of paper go ahead and put that aside and grab your second sheet of paper so we're not going to use this whole sheet of paper we're only going to use part of it and um, if we look at our piece here we're going to want to use one of these edges because um, our castle doesn't need to be any longer than our short edge of our paper. So it'll fit on our, um, our background pretty well. So I'm gonna flip my paper like this and then go ahead and get your pencil. And we're gonna draw our wall to our castle. So most of our castle is gonna be kind of already drawn on our background, but we wanna have a wall that kind of like sticks out that's gonna protect our castle, right? So there's usually like a drawbridge or um, some turrets, something like that. Um, so we're gonna do that piece here. So make it fairly tall. It doesn't have to be huge, um, but maybe like a decent chunk, maybe like a like a quarter of your paper. We'll do our um, kind of our castle. So depending on how you want to do your wall, um, I kind of do these 
I'm gonna do kind of a traditional castle wall here. Have like three or four of these. Um, kind of like that. And once I have my castle, I can uh, cut along my drawn lines with my scissors. And we're gonna keep this piece of paper that we're not using so we can create some other elements, maybe like trees or horses or something. So keep this page that we cut out um, for um, some other pieces. But now we have our wall here. I'm gonna flip mine over so you can't see my pencil marks. So our wall is going to fit kind of right here on our uh, piece, but we want it to kind of stick out a little bit so that you can kind of see behind it and that it uh, kind of shows a little bit more of our castle and, and things like that. Um, so it's going to kind of stick up out into our uh, foreground, but kind of be stuck to our background. So my wall, when I'm looking at it, it might be a little tall. Um, I can maybe, maybe I'll cut it down a little bit shorter um, just so that it will fit a little bit better. There we go. So now if I put it up there, that seems a little bit better. I'll be have a little bit more background to work with um, there, which is nice. So we want our castle wall here to stand up. So kind of like we did with our umbrella, we're going to need to fold our wall a little bit, kind of like back and forth like a um, um, accordion so that it will stand up pretty well. So I'm going to kind of just fold kind of where my um, turrets are here and I'm just going to fold back and forth so that it's kind of like an accordion. Again, back to how we did our uh, umbrella. So now once I open it back up, it's kind of like this. So um, luckily we can flatten it out again pretty well when we uh, want to color it, but I kind of like to get all of these things done so that I can just color it and then it's really easy to put together at the end. So now that we have our, um, our wall kind of all accordion-like, we're gonna wanna make a few little flaps on the edges of our wall so that we can glue it to our background. So we're gonna fold our edges kind of like this, just like a little bit, like little tiny, so that it's folded back. So this one too, we're gonna fold it just like a little tiny and it's gonna be folded back. So if you can see, they're both folded the same direction this way. So we've got our, uh, accordion and then we've got these two little flaps on the end. So when you flip it over, the flaps should be folded behind and this is going to be the front of our castle. So these should fold under and this is gonna be our front of our castle wall. So now that we have this kind of figured out, um, we can start our coloring and our drawing process. So I think I'm going to start a little bit more with my uh, castle wall here because I want um, I want to be able to uh, put this on my background and kind of line it up so that it will match um, what I what I have here. So I'm going to get my crayons and I'm going to um, think about how I want my wall. I think I want my wall to be gray um, for kind of stones, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. Maybe I'll get some brown too. Uh, and um, I'm going to want some black for some windows. Um, and that seems pretty good. Maybe I'll write something on my castle. So I kind of have some options, but I'd like to do a big um, 
kind of like drawbridge almost. So I think I'm going to do kind of like a big um, drawbridge here in the middle. And it's gonna be kind of like a big door like that. All right, so I finished my castle wall. I think this will look cool. So now I can take my background and I can uh, kind of see where my wall is gonna go. I might have to kind of fold it again just so that it will kind of stick up. But I can kind of see um, like where my flaps are gonna go and kind of where it's gonna, oops. Flap. doesn't want to flap down uh, where it's gonna like maybe sit um, kind of like that so then I can kind of um, see how much room I have and where I can kind of put everything um, so um, that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna uh, add some of my background now so now that I have my castle done I can kind of see uh, and draw maybe the rest of my castle behind it because um, this is just kind of my wall. I think I'm gonna do a moat or something like that, some water, maybe a bridge. Um, and then maybe we can add a few more details and put a few more things out here in the foreground. But first I'm gonna work kind of on um, maybe my background um, so I can get this piece glued down and then I'll maybe start doing my um, foreground here. So I'm even gonna mark uh, where I want to uh, glue my piece. So I'm kind of just gonna mark the edges there of where I want to put that so that I kind of know how big my castle needs to be. Um, so I'm definitely gonna put my moat maybe like around like this. Maybe I'll even go over the edge. So I'm gonna put like a moat and there's gonna be maybe like a bridge. We'll have to see like where my thing's gonna line up. That's pretty close actually. Um, so I'll have my bridge here. I'm kind of sketching out what I want, my moat. Um, maybe I'll add some details in my moat. Um, we'll kind of get there. But uh, I've got that done. Now I think I'm going to do like, I think I want to do some like bigger kind of turrets on either side. And maybe I want to have like, maybe like a big main kind of like part of the castle here. And I can have like a pointed roof. Maybe with some like flags. Maybe I'll do like So I'm kind of trying to sketch out my castle where I want it to go. Maybe my walls will be something like that. And I can do my, uh, some maybe some windows. Maybe I can do like another wall like behind it. with some other flags. Um, Cause you're not really gonna be able to see this too well, but you, you can a little bit. Um, so I wanna have a couple things there that might kind of stand out. And 
then I can put like stuff in the background if I want to put like a sun. Maybe I want to put some like, maybe I'll do it like this so that the moat will come around. And I'll do some like, um, maybe I'll do some hills in the background. Like other little buildings. Um, you could even put like mountains in the background or if you had like, you could put like a big dragon or something. Be creative, whatever you'd like. Um, you can even leave more space than I left for your castle background. That's totally fine. Um, I think I've got pretty much my castle here. Um, I, maybe I'll do, my moat will come out, come out to here. Um, maybe I'll do like, I don't know, some bushes or something. I'll kind of decorate this, I think, as time goes on. Um, maybe I'll add some stand-up trees or something. But for now, since I have my castle and kind of where I'm going to put that, um, I think I'll start to uh, color and then uh, hopefully we can kind of get down here and start adding some extra elements. this again and that's kind of what it's gonna look like uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, attach my piece here um, I want to attach it here just so that it will um, stay I guess uh, and that will kind of stand up so I can kind of have it like that um, so I'm going to glue that down now, and then I'll kind of decide what I want to do in my foreground. Um, maybe I'll add a forest or some nights or something like that, but um, that'll kind of be my final piece. So I'm going to glue this with my glue stick. So we're going to flip over our wall piece and these flaps that we folded, those little two that were folded in, that's where we're going to glue. So we're going to glue right there on those flaps. And then you can kind of um, place those flaps kind of on the edge of your castle. We want to make sure the bottom of our castle is kind of at the, um, 
crease here so that it kind of stands up. So we wanna make sure that the bottom is next to the crease pretty close. And then this one, I'm gonna do like that. So then when we pop our piece back up, it will kind of have stay up a little bit. Um, maybe I might have even done it a little bit too far down. So I might have to uh, kind of re put it a little bit back up, move it a little bit up. So my glue shouldn't be too dry yet. So I should be able to do that. And then I can kind of sit it up okay. I might have to crease it a little bit more and then that'll help it kind of stand up. Um, it might not stand up completely on its own just because my paper isn't very, um, um, my paper is not very sturdy. Um, it's kind of flimsy paper, um, but you can always kind of like try and glue it down here if you'd like. Um, sometimes that'll work with the edges if you're like having trouble getting it to stand up. Um, or you can always kind of just put it um, against something, that's probably what I'll do. Um, Cause it's, it's not really standing up super well, but it kind of still makes like a cool kind of like pop up um, like that. Um, and if you even wanna glue even more pieces down, you can, but I'm gonna leave mine like that. Um, so I'm gonna come up with a few more things to add to the bottom here. So I'm gonna get my piece of paper that I cut out my wall from and um, I can draw a few more things. I think I might draw maybe some trees that I'll cut out. And we want to, at the bottom, kind of have a place for it to fold. So I'll probably make it a little bit longer and then I can fold that piece, but maybe I'll make a few trees. And maybe I'll do like a Maybe I'll do like a horse. All right, so when I cut out these pieces, I'm gonna wanna cut out a little bit maybe around my characters, maybe my trees, um, and leave some space at the bottom. We wanna leave kind of a big white space so that we can kind of prop it up so it becomes three-dimensional. So I'll show you what I mean. So here I have my tree. I'm gonna cut kind of around my tree a little bit. And at the bottom here, I'm gonna leave kind of a long piece. Like maybe it doesn't need to be that long. I'm gonna leave about that. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna fold it over, kind of like this. So there's a little flap here. And this is what I'm gonna attach to my bottom here so that it stands up. So I have like this little flap. That's what I'm gonna use to kind of glue down my piece. So once I have that, I can put glue on the bottom of this flap and then kind of bend it over and then place where I want my tree to go and I can kind of make it sit there and that will kind of stand up. So then once I uh, have it like this, uh, you can see it's kind of like standing up a little bit in the foreground. So that's what we're going to be um, doing with our other tree and my knight. I'm gonna put him up there and uh, we'll see how it looks when it's all done.
All right, so I got all my pieces done. You can kind of see my neck down here. Hopefully you can see them okay. Um, but here's how my castle turned out. Um, so I've got my uh, 3D kind of pop. I might have to kind of prop it up if I want to keep it displayed. I'll have to prop it up with something. But um, kind of cool, we created this 3D scene um, with our knight here with some uh, trees, our castle being um, protected by the wall. Um, so pretty cool, I really like this. I thought this um, turned out really fun. Um, so thank you everyone. I really hope you enjoyed this project and um, you like the kind of 3D paper um, scene building. Um, I think it's really cool and um, makes me kind of build my own story with my art. Um, so thanks everyone. I uh, will see you next week. Bye!